It was standing room only inside Book Sync at Campbell's Prune Yard Shopping Center. They say blue is for boys? Well, that just annoys because no one owns the colors. Drag queen Tori Tia miraculously kept the bookstore filled with excited children engaged the entire time. Yeah, honestly, a trade secret for the people at home. Um, I just kind of wing it. As families enjoyed the event, organizers were faced with a looming concern that they could face a repeat of what happened at the event last year. We had people that had come from out of the area to uh, protest, um, which uh, they said some pretty nasty things in front of children, and that it seems to defeat the purpose of what they were protesting um, and that was that was really painful. Robin Stern with Book Sync helped organize the event. She says despite the negativity brought by those people there were some positives then followed by plenty more this year. My happiest moment about that was that the kids did not notice and they had a really great time. This time it was all good. It was all good. Everybody got to enjoy the stories and the songs. This year's story time wasn't just a fun time for the families. Some tell me it was also extremely meaningful. Our kids, my wife and I just want them to feel like life is perfectly normal with two moms. And so we invite their friends to go to things like this, just like their friends invite us to their family things so that we can get to know their culture. Silicon Valley Pride, who benefited from and helped organize the event, says protesters or not, other Pride events are planned for the South Bay, including the August Pride Parade Festival. And yes, more drag story times that Miss Tori Tia says she's more than happy to help host again anytime. Uh, opportunity comes knocking. Hit me up. <laughs>